Where the poly ISO insulation shines and does better is it has a higher R value than the EPS. It is also has a better fire rating than the EPS and it is more rigid. So with the R value being higher, you can use less poly ISO insulation than you would EPS because you're gonna have to use thicker EPS to get the same R value that you would get from poly ISO. And then obviously the fire rating and the rigidity. The rigidity comes into play when you're walking on the roof. Uh, EPS is not as strong and can actually break when you're walking on it. Where EPS foam insulation has an advantage over poly ISO insulation is number one, cost. It's always a real factor, it's a real world, we all have to pay for things, so it's less expensive. Number two is it's not as water absorptive as poly ISO. So if you do have a leak on your roof and you have poly ISO insulation, Typically, you also have to replace the insulation as well, which can be a more detailed repair process than just leaving the EPS foam in place. And finally, it's ease of installation. EPS foam is a little bit easier to install. So those are the three reasons EPS is better than poly ISO.